Our next speaker tries to help web developers in his work at Mozilla. Please welcome Kevin. Thank you. So in uh, 2006, I co-wrote a technical book for Prentice Hall, uh, and this year I have um, self-published a series of children's fantasy books. So I have a little bit of, uh, of experience with both big publishers and doing it myself, uh, and so I want to talk about doing it myself. Um, now, unless you're a big publisher, most big publishers are silly, uh, is not really that controversial a statement. Uh, you don't need to look any further than Amazon.com listings, where you see Kindle books that cost more than a paperback delivered to your door in two days. Uh, that's a little crazy. Or how about the uh, ebook that wears out after 26 times, which is what one of the uh, publishers wants to convince libraries of. Uh, and finally, Google Harlequin, Harlequin class action lawsuit, uh, and it's just, it's just a crazy story that's going on right now. Um, but the thing is, big publishers are the only way to get into Walmart. Uh, they're the only way to get into airports, and if that's your goal, um, you pretty much have to use them. They'll, but they will also give you services that, beyond distribution, like cover art, um, and Apparently editing doesn't come in all contracts anymore, which I thought found pretty amazing. Um, but the marketing also, they won't, don't do as much as you think they might, but, uh, but look at your contract you know, and figure it out uh, if it's worth what you're paying for it, because a lot of times you pay a lot uh, for a big publishing contract. So before you can publish anything though, you need to write it. Uh, and I, I love Scrivener, it's a great program. Uh, if you use a Mac, it's Mac or Windows, but if you use a Mac, it's actually at macheist.com as part of a bundle till tomorrow for $29, <laughs> and it's a great product. Um, so, Check it out. Uh, once you have a book written, you actually have to have a really good cover, especially today where everybody has to choose the little thumbnails. Um, if you put up a bid on these sites, you'll get a whole bunch of artwork, and uh, you get to choose the winner out of that, and that's kind of controversial, uh, but it's one way that people get artwork built these days. Less controversial is talk to a local artist, uh, or go to one of these sites and commission somebody and have them do the work for you. Um, and there's certainly lots of people out there who are really, really talented um, and do a great job of this. And some people specialize in book covers, uh, especially, so that, that helps. Um, my approach was what I call do it yourselfish, um, where basically I used uh, some free 3D software called Daz 3D, um, and I bought this, this little guy here. Um, so you buy the 3D models, you buy some artwork, uh, paste it all together. Um, it's kind of cool because doing it this way, I can pose these characters in whatever way I want, kind of get the cover I want, the feel I want. Um, and yet still have somebody who actually knows a bit about artwork uh, to, to draw these things, which is not my forte. Um, so uh, once you've done your cover and everything, uh, distribution options are really interesting today. Um, I like this site, LeanPub, a lot. In fact, I accidentally stole their tagline for my title. Um, they're they're a, a great service that basically their whole, their whole purpose in life is that you can publish your book early, before you're done, actually start selling it, and you can really easily update it uh, and get your send email out to everybody who's bought it and say, hey, there's a new version, this is what I've changed. Um, they, they deal mostly with the tech crowd, but they do a really nice job and make it super simple to get your files out there. Um, speaking of getting your files out there, services like Gumroad make it really easy to distribute from your own site. You, you just upload a file to them, they give you a link, uh, you send people that link, and they take just a very, very small cut of the money, and they'll deliver whatever file you want, so it's really nice. Of course, you also have to be where your readers are, uh, and that tends to be in ebooks, um, which is a growing part of the market, one of these places. Uh, Smashwords will help you get into all of them, uh, but I actually did it myself, and it's not really that hard except for Apple, uh, and Apple's only kind of hard. Um, CreateSpace is how I got my books printed. Uh, it's a bit cheaper than Lulu, and they're owned by Amazon, and it was really, really trivial to go from CreateSpace into Amazon, uh, and then I could link up my print and ebooks e uh, e very easily, so, so that worked out well. Theoretically, uh, you should start your marketing at the beginning of the process, figure out if people want what you're writing and things like that. I didn't do that, I just enjoyed writing it. Um, and I have to figure out the marketing part now. Uh, and, and every book is going to be different. Your, your, your plan has to be tailored to your book. Uh, I like Seth Godin's writing about marketing a lot. Um, he's very famous for it. Um, Tribes in particular is relevant if you're self-publishing because he writes up in there all about building a tribe around you, people who are interested in what you have to say. And if you have a tribe, well, they'll, they'll buy your books. Um, Joe Conrad, if you're at all considering self-publishing um, or publishing anything, he's a fiction writer, he writes thrillers, um, but he has had both a traditional publishing contract uh, and he's done a lot of self-publishing. And um, he tells you he, in great detail all about it on his blog. Recently he wrote up some numbers, $37,000 a month is how much he's making now writing thrillers. So you can make money in fiction actually, especially if you're self-publishing, and that's the, the theme he repeats over and over again on his blog. 
Um, and he, he did lots of book tours and things like that, so he's put a lot of work in. So my point is that all these tools that I just mentioned, they didn't exist a few years ago. Uh, and the market for ebooks and things like that, that didn't exist either. So whatever it is you care about, uh, if you can write a few words, um, get it out there because the opportunity is there.